Hi there! Did you know that military saints was actually a thing back in the second century? Well, you'll be surprised to find out that they are more than you can think. And Saint Sargis was one of them. At first, we should not confuse Saint Sargis or Sergius with Saint Sargis, the companion of Bacchus, for Saint Sargis was Greek and from Cappadocia. He was appointed as general in chief for the Cappadocia region boarding Armenia by Emperor Constantine the Great. When Constantine's nephew, Julian the Apostate, became emperor, Saint Sargis left his authority and position and by a vision from Christ, he went to Armenia along with his son and found refuge there. When the Sassanid Emperor Shah Shapur II heard of Saint Sargis' reputation as a skilled commander, he asked him to join his army. Saint Sargis recorded many victories to Shah Shapur, especially when he fended off Julian's troops from entering the Sassanid kingdom. Saint Sargis credited all his victories to God and he kept on talking about the one and only God and eventually he converted 14 of his troops into Christianity. Upon hearing this, Shah Shapu was enraged and he ordered for Saint Sargis and his son and the 14 newly converts to come to the temple in attentions to test their faith. Saint Sargis refused to participate in the Zoroastrian ceremony he kept on preaching and he even destroyed all the items of the temple that eventually Shah Shapur killed his son in front of him and ordered the beheading of his 14 companions. Saint Sarkis died at 362 with his son Martyros and he was venerated as the patron saint of youth and his feast always takes place 63 days before Easter. That was all for today and I'll see you in the next video.